Okay, so now we switch to USB descriptors. Maybe I propose to show you again the traces we have seen before together, just to have a look in it, and maybe you will better understand it right now. Okay, it's still there. So, it was just now we know how to, to check this. So, here it's typically a get descriptors. We will just explain after what is get descriptors and things like that. But you see that it was a setup trans transfer again. So, address zero and point zero. So, here that means it's something that I've plugged. The traces I've done, I've just plugged my board, which is a VCP. We don't care. So it's it just the first transaction that started. We've got a setup, some data zero, who say, OK, get the descriptors. I will say, get information from him. And then I will receive an in token. In token, from the host point of view, it's something that's coming from the device to the host with some information on it. OK. So here you've got the answer from the device. And then here we've got, I will say, the part of the statement to say if it was OK or not. And then we can see that the transaction is OK. We've got a out and we send some data. That just now you should have in mind how to read such kind of thing. The level of transaction, the different packet, the token, some information that coming from the device, the data, and always a handshake. Okay, do you feel more comfortable with this now? I think now, if I just put you in front of um, um, this kind of code, you can understand what's happened. And keep in mind, it's the best way to debug. When you've got an issue with a device, plugging such kind of things, you can see what are the transfer between. Because mainly the problem is when you are using a PC, you are using some drivers delivered by Windows or by anything else, you don't know what they are doing. So you can just check what are the traffic? Is it normal? Why it doesn't answer the descriptors or things like that? So you have to check what is the traffic inside. Okay, so that was just a short example. And now we go on descriptor. So, Let's go on the descriptors. So the host will use this information to know the capability of the device. So it's really something that he will need. And we'll see what is inside these descriptors. OK, so we've got on the top of the structure a device descriptors. I will say that mainly describe everything. But it will point on other structures that device everything. The device descriptor will point on some string descriptors. I will say some information. What is the manufacturer's, the product, and the serial numbers? It's just a thing that you can see in the drivers, you know, under Windows. When you connect something, you can see, OK, it's something sponsored by this company and this kind of product. This information you can have under Windows very easily. Then you've got configuration descriptor. That means we could have a device with many configurations in parallel. That means that have different capabilities. And then it could have several interfaces. That means, for example, we are commonly use uh, just a USB key. But I don't know if you are familiar with STM32 when you plug it on your PC. What kind of USB device are you seeing? Uh, have you already checked? No? No, you, when you plug a, you, uh, a STM32, a nuclear board, have you seen so? Uh, OK. So if you do it, you will see a mass storage. You will see a virtual COM port. And you will see a ST-Link. You will see three device USB. You are in front of what we call a composite device. So that means a device could have uh, several, I will say, rules at the same time. It could be seen as a USB key and use it that way. You can use the debugger at the same time. It's just different on point and different interfaces that are described. It's OK for you? This is what we call the composites. When we deliver, for us, we just deliver in the stack some pre-configured, that will say, standard uh, uh, interfaces for the master storage, for uh, the VCP, so the virtual COM port, 
the other one, the HID and things like that, but not the composite one. If you want to comp do a composite, you have to do some development I with our stack, just some adaptation to do by yourself. So, how it's, oh, maybe I go too fast. So, each interface should have the on point descriptors. So, we already told this before. When you address, you talk to one on point, and this on point has some characterization. Is it an interrupt one, asynchronous, or bulk one? And that's it. Or it's a zero, but zero for the setup. So, you already reset. Always keep in mind, you only have one configuration activated at a time. You can't have two configurations, but in the configuration, you can have several interface descriptors. That means different class. That just show you how it's often uh, started the enumeration process. Uh, I say often because the USB specification don't specify exactly this order. So it's a one that you can observe with uh, Windows, but it could be a little bit different sometimes, depending on your host. So first, the USB reset. Then we write the default address, that means we're on the address zero. We get the get device descriptor with the address zero. Remember, I saw you the trace before, with the setup transition with the address zero, it will be this one. The get descriptor setup. And then we see, okay, we do a reset, and we set the device address. And after this, we get the get the device descriptors. Then we get the device character descriptors. This is needed for the high speed, just to know if your device have got uh, high speed capabilities. If he has got some high speed capabilities, we will need some additional information about those on point in high speed or the high speed configuration. Then we get the configuration descriptor nine bytes and all the bytes. Then, once you receive all this time, then the host will set one configuration and say, I will use this configuration. And we can switch from one configuration to the other, but as I said before, you can only have one configuration activated at a time. I will say one way of working of your device. Okay? So, let's go more in detail. So, you remember, we are in the Setup foundation with a setup stage, data stage. The setup stage will say, okay, I will cast direction device to host, standard device. There is a get descriptors. And then we say what kind of descriptors we want to see. First, we will request the device one. Then we will request all the other ones, the strings associated to this device and such kind of thing. Then the configuration, the interface, and the on point. Now you better understand all this setup transition. You will get the descriptor of the device and the different elements of the structures. And at the end, the host got all the information of the device configuration possible. So reading the device descriptor, so this setup transition first. And we will receive such kind of information. So, OK. Don't focus a lot of the structures. What is important, you see the number of configuration there. And you can see it's a device, the vendor ID, the product ID. So this is important because from the host point of view, it's a way to know what I'm talking and what kind of driver should I load on my side to discuss with this. This is a really important point, the product ID and the vendor ID. So vendor ID is, pro is uh, provided. You have to pay to get one if you want to have the one of your company to the USB.orgs. And the product ID, you can request ST can provide you for free if you just send us information. But you will have to use our vendor ID and regarding dates that you can put the logo USB on your device if you want to sell it on the market. So the device descriptors, we get the number of configuration that we can request. We've got also the e-manufacturer's information that we can request. So you can see how receiving this, then we can re request the other part of the structures. So I the device qualify, qualifier descriptors, I told you before, it was the one that is needed for the high speed. It's when you need to have, um, if you want 
if you need, uh, if you have got the capability to do some high speed, sorry, uh, you will have to describe the way to use it. So you have some additional structures for that. Just keep this in mind. About the configuration descriptors, so we've got the configuration inside the interfaces and class specific descriptors. What is a class? Class is a uh, master age, uh, human uh, interfaces. Um, master age, human interfaces. Oh, help me. Uh, MTP, for example. Uh, DFU. I don't know if you know this one. Device firmware update. It's a class that allows you to download some firmware and update your firmware. We will see some on on with this one also. And we will can have all this one on the different interfaces. So now we have seen the device descriptors, the configuration descriptors. And as I said, you've got different uh, descriptors possible, but only one could be activated at a time. So we could imagine that in some case you need uh, the mass storage and the ST-Link at the same time, but suddenly on your PC, okay, I'm deactivated the ST-Link, I don't want to use it anymore. You can say to the device, okay, forget this part and switch to this configuration without uh, this on point, okay? Configuration descriptors here. Okay, so always the structures. So it will contain the number of interfaces that you will have to request and the length of all the information that you are supposed to receive. So now I can use only the configuration one. So you can switch from one configuration to the others. So you just send from the device descriptors set configuration, configuration one. Again, it's a setup transaction. Think about it. This will be a very simple one, just without any data. Just send a setup token, a data out, acknowledgement, and then again, a in token to receive its hack, so uh, an empty uh, packet data, and then hack. Okay, you've got in mind all this, I would say traffic now, what kind of different packets inside this transaction. Okay, interface descriptors. Um, okay, some subtlety, I will say. Inside the configuration descriptors, you can have uh, some alternate setting for one interfaces. It's just a capability to define one and activated switch from this one to this one dynamically from the host point of view. So we just to say, okay, finally, I just want to send this one to this one. This is a possibility. The endpoint descriptors, so characterization is in which way it's a out or in direction. You can find the tip of transfer, synchronization tip is a chronus, is a chronus transferred, and tip of transfer, is it a bulk, uh, interrupt, or such kind of things. And the packet, the polling interfaces, that could be used for the polling one. So here yeah, it's really the description of the endpoints the attributes the transaction tip, bulk is a chronus uninterrupt. Uh, you don't need to set setup because setup is associated to the endpoint zero, for sure. And the interval, it's how you will, I will say, uh, pulling the data. Always think it's host centric, it's host that's cadencing the traffic. String descriptors, it's a way to send the string. No, so much complicated there. Example of enumeration, we already seen it. And this is what I already said to you. So here we can see a reset. Uh, I'm not sure you can see it. You managed to read it. <laughs> or maybe you, you've got the slide. If you, if you don't, it was uh, the slide 101. You can see a reset. First, the get descriptors with the address 0 on point 0. Then a reset. So it's really what we have seen before, what happened at the beginning. The first thing is a set address, and after this transaction, so always think it's a transaction, you got it right now, it's a setup with a data stage with acknowledgement stage, and then after you can see the address of the on point is 14. So it has been set the address, then we started to get the 
get the device descriptor, take the configuration descriptor, then it requests a different string value, the device qualifier to know if it's able to, what is the configuration for the high speed, then the device type configuration and such kind of things. So you've got a full example of an enumeration just catch with a, with a USB analyzer. 